In the meantime, Irish pressing, and it is Caulfield who gathers it in, and this drive looks really meaningful. First time they've had ball in hand in the 22 there, flying onwards, and Ruiz crashes over for the first try of the Premiership Cup final. It's gone to the Argentinian hooker, and London Irish lead. Ruiz just puts his head up, has a look, and plots a route to the line. There he is, not backwards. Cairns for the South African open side. Cairns again, quick hands from Hendrickson, Wyatt, and some work being done by Sean O'Brien there, muscular stuff. In our driving and scoring. Just look at this pass in the air, holds that two defenders, Joseph and Atkins, really well. That means it's a soft tackle from Atkins because he's late off, and then it's in hard. Just okay. looking at the ground. With that again. little show and go. Irish pressing hard. Ruiz steering this and driving them beyond the line and over for the score. Two for the hooker. The Exiles back in front. That's a really smartly worked try. The guys at the front finding the weakness, rolling it round and then straightening back the other way as Exeter put in a last-ditch attempt to stop it. It's a really well-worked try from the home Looks team. all clear to me, mate. Ball secured by Chunza. This is Tuima. Davis holds on. In goes Hehenya. He's been driven off the ball and not rolling away here as well, so a penalty given up, a little bit of afters. That's enough, don't go in, don't go in. Doesn't look that keen to back away, Facundo Higenia, for the Exeter Chiefs. Outstanding percentage, sends this on its way and drives it straight through, so Exeter back within four with just a, a minute or so to play in this first half. Temperature raised with every phase here from the Chiefs. Yosefa Scott feeds it on to Kenny. Kenny's still going. Back and soul. Short range passes, short lines to cut. Go. And one more surge. Just short. Yosefa Scott waits. Drives over the line. Short look at there. that previous angle once more. Ooh. Munger heads right. Just need a little bit of invention. Maybe Kieran Parker has it. Flew That's over the top of the bodies. Offside penalty here. And the offside line breached by Exeter. Regardless, Parker taking the aerial route. Offside. <laughs> offside number eight. Right. <laughs> The activities involving Yanis Kirsten you know no longer with us, but either way, we wouldn't have had a game of rugby. Excellent, yeah. couldn't if maintain clear, their be, come in. defensive Thank integrity, you. and it's uh, set up a straightforward shot for Jacob Atkins. And London Irish move in front once again by 20 points to 17. Yusufa Scott already with one try to his name. Here's Kenny. Buffeted in the tackle and held and held. His knees are down. His knees are down. Referee. For a moment obscured by the post, his vision. But they've got another advantage. Simmons is calling for this. And out it comes. And over they go through Davis. Chiefs open side. Breaking open this game yet again in extra time. Just as it comes out, two players step in. Okay. And then spotting the outside man, stepping in on him. He just realised one more tip on and he's not going to be able to recover. Just out of shot there, you see Simmons hovering in the back, so they had multiple options. Yeah. Wow. Clock in the red. Last chance saloon for London Irish. More. The ball secured by Scrag. Is there one final twist to this? The Irish have dominated the sporting week. Are the Chiefs about to spoil 
the ultimate party here in Brentford. They've got the ball. The turnover is affected. Exeter firing away through Simmons, and the trophy is theirs. In extra time, exhausted bodies, exuberant fans, the Chiefs upset the Irish narrative that has otherwise dominated over recent days. And the news is altogether better and different for the Exeter Chiefs. Very resilient, outplayed for much of that first half. Take a real pounding, didn't they, in that, uh, that scrummage in particular. But they came back well, they came back with a clarity of purpose as well. And I guess more significantly for them is the fact that their next generation have stepped up here today, Ben. They're going to need them really badly. Such a huge raft of senior players leaving at the end of this season. And, and today, a glimpse of the future. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They're going to need them. Of course, they'll be looking to add to their squad for next season with the likes of that man. Joe Simmons just getting his medal there off at the end of the season. A lot of people that have done some amazing things with this club are going, but this is the future. Jack Inard clutches the trophy, joins his teammates. Exeter are back in the winner's circle, and they are the 2023 Premiership Rugby Cup champions.